Hi, um, everyone. This is Caroline Christine Magia. Um, I'm making this video just so you guys will be my witnesses. I have tried to apply twice for artist profile on TikTok. Um, all of my music is on here because when I release a single, they automatically send it to, um, you know, the different places to be monetized. So I have my entire album, which they have, they do like a minute of each song. And then I also have them as singles. And I have three different, um, I guess, companies where they were released. One of them is CD Baby. And then I have all of my music registered on BMI. And plus, of course, it's, it's, it's been copywritten and published through BMI. So, um, I don't know what's going on. They asked for like 10 screenshots. The screenshots I gave them were, um, some of it was my original work that I did in Photoshop of my album covers, my single covers, because I'm also a graphic artist as well as um, a singer songwriter. And I produce all of my own music. Nobody helps me. I do everything by myself. So I'm getting a really uneasy feeling about TikTok because this is not the first time that I've had problems with them accusing me um, with copyright infringements. I own all the rights. Now I'm almost feeling I've got to go see a lawyer because if I apply in seven days as you requested for um, my artist profile and I see that someone else has claimed it or I don't know if anything creepy or weird or illegal is going on I am going to contact my lawyers and CD Baby and BMI um, and the Congress, the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. I'm, I'm going to have to do that. You are leaving me no choice to seek legal counsel. I'll be damned if I let anything happen with my music. I've worked hard these past, what, three years, two and a half to three years producing my own music. And that's because I was left no choice but to do things by myself, to learn how to do everything by myself. And then you're going to act weird. Um, I mean, if I have to, I think maybe I should start working on having all of my music pulled out of your music, um, whatever you call it, you know, where you look up music to put in the background. Yeah, all of my music is there legally from my, re from my releases. So, um, I don't know why I'm being refused. The only way I can, only way that you could be doing that is unless somebody who works for you is trying to steal my work. Yeah, I get suspicious. I'm always suspicious because I've had to fight tooth and nails to protect my music, to produce my music and put it out there. I did all of this by myself, all of it. I've had no help from anybody, not financially, not as far as partnering. I have had no help. So if I suspect, which I think maybe I should get, I, sh I do need to talk to lawyers, just in case you are up to something, TikTok. I don't know, there's something very creepy and wrong going on. So that's all I have to say. Because if you refuse my artist profile again, then yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna start seeking legal counsel and then I'm getting all my music pulled from TikTok, all of it. And I'll just keep it on iTunes and Spotify and Pandora and Apple Music and Amazon Music, because yes, I have it on all those platforms. Deezer, I can go on and on where my music is. Okay? So, 
And I do know there's problems between China and the United States going on. And I know that TikTok, I know they're owned by the Chinese. So I don't know what's going on between our two governments. But you know what? I'm not involved in that. If you can't do right by my music and by me, then I have to seek legal counsel and protect myself and my work. Period.